Steve Hall wasn't sure he'd be there at his daughter Erin's wedding, almost a year to the day after he was diagnosed with the deadliest form of brain cancer. I had just taken some, you know, a water sample. Hall was 60, and, and he thought healthy. He had no idea he had a brain tumor until one Saturday morning in August when he collapsed by the pool. And all of a sudden, I felt this jolt through my left leg and my left arm. And I just saw him collapse. There was a trip to the emergency room, and there was a brain scan. I felt like our whole life was turned upside down in a matter of two hours. And the surgeon said, well, you have a geoblastoma multiforma. That's stage four cancer. It was disbelief, absolute fright. Uh, despair. Hall's been through radiation and he now takes chemotherapy pills every month. But he has something else going for him. A vaccine made from his tumor. <laughs> Neurosurgeon Andrew Parsa at the University of California, San Francisco is Hall's doctor. The approach that we take is we actually do the surgery, we take the tumor out, and then we make the vaccine directly from that individual patient's tumor and then give that vaccine back to the patient. The vaccine triggers the body's immune system to attack multiple spots on the tumor cells. Smallpox works, polio vaccines work. You're allowing your own body to combat this, this cancer, which is an irregularity anyway. I don't think that it's appropriate to use the word cure with glioblastoma. I think we really want to turn this into a chronic disease like hypertension or diabetes where you can take medicine that allows you to live a normal life. Today, there is no evidence of that tumor recurrence. So far, Dr. Parsa's small trial has shown remarkable results. More than a year into the clinical trial, none of the eight patients have had their tumors come back. With traditional treatment, fewer than a third of glioblastoma patients even survive a year. It's really, really encouraging. A year after his diagnosis, Steve Hall feels well enough to dance, letting a father and daughter share one of life's precious moments. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.